Two weeks later, the old museum guard appears again with another letter from Felix. Sophie opens the envelope anxiously and begins to read. Important news for Sophie, 33 Elm Road, Mansfield, Ohio. SOS from Felix, presently at the other end of the world. Should we open it, friends? All right, here we go. In the land of the rising, dear Sophie, so very far away. I think I have landed now in a completely different world. There are wonderful houses here with screens for walls. I have never seen anything like it before. Just think, Sophie, I got to look around a bit in a palace. There, I saw a young man who has long black hair. His hairdo is very chic. He likes me a lot, I can tell. But unfortunately, I can't understand what he says. So I took some paper and pencils out of my backpack and I drew our house. You, me, a tree, and the sun. The young guy watched carefully and then he smiled and drew characters next to them. He is very smart. Each day he shows me new characters. It's a shame there's no spaghetti here, but there's lots of rice instead. And imagine this, the people eat with knitting needles. A wise old man is taking this letter with him, and I really hope that you will receive my news and that somehow I will find my way back to you again. Your Felix, who always thinks of you. Look, friends, it's the drawing Sophie talked about. You can see the symbols next to each of the characters as well. The first symbol that has the square with the line through it is how you say sun in Japanese. Each symbol here is how you write the word for each of these things. So you can see one for girl, which is Sophie, one for a rabbit, which is Felix, one for a tree, and one for a house. How special. Sophie is absolutely certain that Felix is in Japan, and that's what Aunt Ada, who comes to visit, thinks too. Did you know that Asia is known as the cradle of technology? She asks. Imagine, Sophie. The magnetic compass, the art of printing, and much more were invented there centuries earlier than in Europe. Sophie fishes around in her pocket and proudly pulls out a card with the characters. Your Felix has already learned a lot, says Aunt Etta in amazement. She says there are thousands of characters used for writing in Japan, and each one of them has a special meaning. Oh dear, I hope Felix won't learn them all, Sophie mumbles sadly, or I'll be a great-grandmother by the time he comes back. That day, Sophie and her family decided to have a Japanese meal with lots of rice, of course. Aunt Ada and Sophie go shopping together and even find real chopsticks. Then Aunt Ada disappears into the kitchen and soon it smells delicious. And it tastes delicious too. Only Dad struggles desperately with his chopsticks and exclaims, This is too complicated! Lena laughs and then comforts him, Don't worry, Dad, we won't let you starve. Relieved, Dad sighs. Oh, it's a good thing we're going to the Great Lakes for our summer vacation. If we went to Japan, I might starve. After supper, Aunt Etta has to leave, and everybody waves from the gate until her car is too far away to see. <laughs>